Hey tribe, hey, welcome back to my channel, Princess Sophie Goddess. This video is gonna be for my Virgos, so if it resonates, awesome. Appreciate it, subscribe, like, share it, it'll see if it can resonate too. So this is for my Virgos because I kept hearing Mercury, Mercury. So I'm like, okay, so I did Gemini. So now I'm gonna do Virgo, okay? This could also be representing your health as well. Your sixth house, your health, okay? There's something you may need to be doing or switching up your routines this weekend um, or whenever you receive this message. Okay, or there, there's going to be like a routine change. Some of you guys could be relocating or you're like doing something different, a change of scenery, or this could even be like a job change. For some of you guys, you're like changing your job, the schedule, or what you do, okay? Something requires you to have more energy. I feel like Spirit's telling you guys to wake up early, okay? Even if you don't work early, like wake up early to at least get your exercise your meditation in your yoga it's something like that you need to change something the way you're spending your day okay it's gonna get in here it'll definitely help you emotionally okay some of us change something some of you guys are changing dynamics or sceneries or something yeah seven of pentacles you're changing your life the star your life is about to change this could be happening in aquarius season as well Somebody's life is about to change or Virgo's life or sixth house, whatever that applies to you. Something needs to change with the nine of swords. You could be like somewhere, you outgrew somewhere or you outgrew someone. This could even have something to do with who, you, who you're investing your time into, okay? I feel like you outgrew someone. So now your your direction is being changed suddenly. You have a sudden change in direction when it comes to your path. Some of you guys, this could actually be you like becoming like a sudden star overnight sensation, viral. Okay, you could be posting a video or a picture and it's going to go viral. Okay, get the Ace of Cups here. The lover's card. Some of you guys, this is a new relationship that's about to emerge. Like, all of a sudden, you're about to fall in love. Okay? Some of you guys could have been detaching from people. Maybe four days ago from this reading could be very significant. But I'm also getting, like, there's a sudden change in your relationships. Not even just intimate relationships. This could be children, relationship with your children, relationship with a job, relationship with your co-workers, relationship with your parents. It could be all of those or like a, a specific area in your life. Some of you guys, this is definitely your love life, okay? Your love status is about to change. I, I don't even mean to say love status. I'm going to say your relationship status. So if you're single, your relationship status is about to change. This could be from like four days from now or definitely in Aquarius season. Um, if you are already taken, some of you guys are like removing yourself from someone. And it's going to be sudden. Yeah, because I have love on the top deck. So something has happened all of a sudden. Okay. Yeah, the Queen of Wands. Because you're taking your power back. Have you been given to you haven't given, given, given? Or when you when you gave out to the universe, you're getting what you gave out to the universe. All right. You've been giving out love, exuding love. Not talking about desperate. Not desperation or validation from others, but I'm getting like genuine love. You know, not expecting anything. You did it from the bottom of your heart, whatever this is, whoever this is. Um, you're getting that right back. Now, for some of you guys, it may not be with who you think it is or from. For some of you guys, it could be a new relationship. For some of you guys, it's like your children been watching you um, become a better person. Some of you guys already changed your routine and it's starting to show on your body, your behavior, um, your manifestations. It's like things are turning around for you in a positive way and your children have been watching and they've been inspired by you. Okay, if you've been having trouble with your children's behavior, that's going to change or it has been changing. You could be noticing a change in your children's behavior. I'm also getting like um, somebody uh, is about to follow your footsteps. Okay, this could be a sibling or a child um, or somebody in your community, maybe somebody you mentor. You're inspiring a lot of people to follow your footsteps and what you're doing. People believe what you say. Okay, because you walk that walk, not just talk that talk. I don't even feel like you talk a lot. Okay, for the, whoever this is, it's like you just you just walk like you do whatever you 
you feel to do, you do it from the bottom of your heart, okay? I feel like, yeah, you're a leader, okay? So that's what I'm getting. I'm getting like something new is about to happen either this month or a month from now, okay? Something's about to change your life or someone may change your life here, okay? Your kids could be getting good grades, all right? Or they're learning at a fast rate. It's something like that. It's like um, when you healed from whatever you had to go like heal from or you outgrowing whatever you're outgrowing so is your children or the people around you your loved ones okay you are like the one who lit the fire and now it's burning like you you're helping people okay it's something like that here okay yeah, I grew something. The death card, Scorpio energy. Scorpio season could be very significant. Some of you guys could be changing your makeup or your outfits or something. I don't know. Maybe you change your clothes by the moods. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe like you dress different when you were younger based off of your emotions. Maybe because you were going through like a lot of, uh, uh, I don't know, a lot of unhealed stuff. And so you dressed a certain way and now you're not dressed in the way you used to dress. I don't know. It could be something like that, but I'm getting your outgrowing or out doing something or you're, you know what I'm saying? Something like that here. I feel like, um, the more you heal, the more you outgrow, the more you heal, the better, best version of yourself you become. So you're becoming the best version of yourself. And I feel like you could be detaching from things or people that are not healed and not to say you're better than them, but I feel like either you're showing them how to heal by you becoming healed or even if it's from a distance. Because some of you guys, you may be detaching yourself from things that are triggering you or that's not healthy for you. I feel like someone or something had a chance to come with you and grow with you, but they refuse not to. That's for some of you guys. And I'm also getting here like you're healing your inner child is really inspiring. And I also feel like there's a lover coming in if you're if you're single or if you're detaching from someone. And I feel like this new lover is more on your vibration. Okay. And when you guys get together, you're going to unlock something. Like, I'm here and unlock the next level in your life when you meet this person. Not saying wait around for someone to unlock the le next level, but I feel like for some of you guys, that's just what it is. Is you're destined to meet someone and you guys are going to unlock the next level together, okay? So, what do we have? Anything else? That was a big, that was a handful. That was a handful. I said. Yeah, Nine of Cups. A wish fulfillment. Nine of Swords. 99 problems, but a one. So yeah, you're not having no more issues or you're not allowing anything to affect you to become an issue. I really feel like you're not taking nothing personal. I feel like you're just taking things as face value or this is the energy you need to get into. All right, don't stress about things or people that just are not coming with you because I feel like your path is changing for the better and it could be very sudden, but I feel like it has to be like that because you're elevating at a fast rate and I feel like, and not just money or nothing like that. I'm just talking about spiritually. Um, inner inner okay the more you heal at a fast rate or you become spiritually elevated at a fast rate it's being manifested in your environment in the relationships around you okay so i do see a wish fulfillment and maybe this stress is not coming from you the stress could be coming from other people in other situations that because they know that you're moving forward and they know that you are you know, elevating. I'm also getting like, if you're leaving a neighborhood, they're like jealous of you. Or if you're leaving a job, they're like, where you're going? Like, mm, she must have said somebody. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But like, somebody could be like, so outrageous, like, <laughs> some outrageous statements, like, of why you're elevating. Like, because I work hard. She, it, it could take y'all a while to to outgrow something or to move forward, okay? You could have been in a stagnant situation for a long time. And I see movement here, okay? I see you moved because it's time, okay? You did the work. So let's see. I don't know why that came in my head. Yeah. There's endings. Look at this. Because you made progress. There's a strong ending. The letter E could be significant. Some of you guys could have been having heart issues. I see improvement. If a loved one has heart issues, their heart is improving. Um, also, walking. Okay. So you could be walking more. The letter J could be significant. 
all right yeah you harvest whatever you planted is grown here is harvesting and this for new beginnings you're reaping the rewards yeah because you're protected to go to the next stage in life yeah something about a year ago it took you a year to get to this point so enjoy it period let me get you some letters y'all i mean you gotta use this deck though and then i'll get you some and i burnt so let's see what they got here somebody has a mole okay what else they were influenced by others okay yeah people are being influenced by you that's what i'm getting somebody has braids follow your intuition follow your gut solar plexus is open and healed all right yeah somebody better have a baby all right are you birthing a new beginning or you birthed this new beginning you can leave this in the past yeah that's what i'm getting here i'm getting two more let's see yeah somebody could live on a north side or be an earth sign okay like i said virgo or east side yeah you getting flued out i told y'all like spirits flying y'all out somewhere or removing y'all from people or situations or environments here yeah show no mercy you get to smile here okay spirit is not showing nobody no mercy if you did not do the work then you're not coming that's period spirit is not showing no sympathy if you did not do the work you have 24 7 just like everybody else they should have did something with it all right somebody named me destiny okay all right, this this could be significant. Let me see. We got shoulda, woulda, coulda. I don't know. Um, somebody child name could start with an S. Okay. I'm also getting yo. So somebody's like, yo, why you leave me by? <laughs> uh, why well, I gotta go? Okay. Ro Rolanda could be significant. All right, I don't know why I'm hearing that that dude that be rolling, rolling K. I don't know. Bet somebody made a bet that you would not make it. Okay, Popo -po could be significant. Somebody could be the police, or somebody try to get you arrested. But you beat all the odds, Virgo. You outgrown everything. You get to move forward because you did the inner work. Love you.